Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm gonna be making complex blends for my, my candle romance. So if you wanna see how I make these beautiful candles, keep on watching. Yes! Welcome back to the channel. So guys, on today's video, I'm gonna be uh, making a very complex blend for my for one of my candles. Uh, I wanna make the perfect citrusy candle, but at the same time, I wanna make it a citrusy woodsy kind of candle, very very complex scent, you know. And I've been trying so many combinations, guys, and I have not gotten to the one that really makes me like, okay, wow, you know. So I mean, I made a few ones that I love. But it's not something that I feel like it's gonna be like a, a hit on the market, you know, something different. So I've been doing a lot of research on my different fragrance oils, and I have this guide in here uh, that tells me, you know, what's good to combine with what. And so I'm trying to layer uh, the fragrance oils to see uh, what kind of results I get. So on today's video, I'm gonna be making a candle using this uh, candle number one. It's gonna be I'm gonna be using a vanilla woods from the flaming candle. This one here, I'm gonna be mixing it with Palo Santo and Topaz. And the third one's gonna be Patchouli Amber from the Flaming Candle. And I only have a tiny, tiny little bit of this. So um, let's see how much, hopefully I'll be able to make, a, I wanna make a couple of samples in this size. So I'm gonna only uh, fill them up halfway because like I told you, I like to keep uh, a sample to a friend and the other sample, I keep it in here so we can test together and then we can com uh, compare notes, okay? I think that's the best way for you to really know, you know, uh, what is it that the people like and what is it that you like and the differences, you know, so you have to have different opinions. Okay, and then another candle, let me just get the my other tiny mason jar, okay? So in these two mason jars, I'm gonna make this very, this is the first time I make this so many, uh, such a big blend, but I think this this four together, guys, it's gonna give me a glorious candle. <sighs> I, I just, I'm, what I'm looking for, what I'm looking for, it's, I'm looking to make a candle that when you walk into a room, you're gonna say, oh my God, what is that? I make you think, you know, all the different layering of notes and accords and this combination, it's gonna give me that, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so let me just uh, tell you which combination this is in case you're interested in making it. Okay, I'll, uh, the first fragrance oil is uh, Cool Citrus Basil from the Famine Candle. The second fragrance oil is Caribbean Teak Wood from Candle Science. Third fragrance oil is gonna be uh, Vanilla Birch from Flaming Candle. And guys, I noticed that if you wanna make a sexy scent, uh, try to put vanilla on it because vanilla, it's, it makes everything, uh, it, it takes everything to the to the next level, you know? And the last fragrance oil uh, that I'm gonna add is a patchouli from Candle Science. Now, I tested so many patchoulis from different companies, you know, and uh, everyone is different. So you have to find the blend that you like, you know, because patchouli is not really patchouli. You know, this is a combination of uh, fragrance oils and different notes. So I'm combining this complex patchouli with uh, three other different uh, fragrance oils. And I think this is giving me the perfect combination, the perfect uh, strength to make all these four combinations, all these four fragrance oils. Oh my God telling you guys I love making candles because just because of this the, uh, the creation of a new scent that to me is everything so these four they sing together so well I'm telling you they'll make an orgy an orgy in fragrance oil this is this is beyond passion guys this is unbelievable okay so let's make it yes let me get all the ingredients ready and let's start cooking yeah so the first things first, don't forget to get your candle making worksheet or whatever kind of uh, documentation you're gonna be using because you wanna keep this on file and you wanna be able to refer back uh, whenever you wanna uh, make this beautiful candle. Okay, the wick size, I'm gonna be using Eco Tool for the test. A container style mason jar, 
I'm having here on my wall in here. Uh, let's see. More mason jars. Uh, it's 2.4 ounces of wax. And then for 10% uh, of fragrance oil, I'm gonna be using 0.4 fragrance oil of each, okay? So the container is five mason jar, and then they are, uh, let me see how. Just, just put the size, just put the hell away. Okay, so these are, this is how you measure your yards from the inside, okay? Don't go from the outside, go from the inside. And these are uh, two and a quarter, between two and a quarter and two and a half. So I'm just gonna go two and a quarter. Okay, so two and a quarter inch wide diameter. And we know already that we hit the wax to 200. I'm gonna go add the fragrance oil at 185 and we're gonna pour 170 to 160. Okay? It's me great, guys. Okay, you know, I love making candles with you guys. It makes me so happy. Okay, so let's start measuring the oils. So I have the, uh, the wax melter going, not yet. I just wanna measure the oils and I wanna label everything. And guys, I know I made this the same type of videos before, but I just want to share with you my uh, my journey into creating my my candle romance. You know, as you know, it takes a lot of uh, it takes a lot of it takes a lot of testing, guys, uh, for you to find the right combination of fragrance of, of fragrance uh, oils uh, because you want to put on the market something different, something that nobody else has, and something that's gonna that you know that you believe on your heart that people are gonna love. And that's what I'm doing. Okay, so let me just make the, the label. It's very important uh, if you want to create something sexy or something um, like comfy to put a little bit of vanilla because vanilla makes, brings everything together. Okay, today's date. For my regular, what do you call it? Uh, vessel that I have, the big one. I'm using two LX10 wicks. I find it that uh, I try working with the with the wooden wicks guys uh they're very tricky and they are not consistent so i want to put something on the market that is really consistent and that people uh, will feel safe i don't think uh the wooden wicks is going to give me a complete burn for the whole candle i noticed that they look beautiful and they give me beautiful sound uh once the candle goes midway uh it start to have difficulty keeping uh uh, the flame alive the wick alive so i'm not gonna be so you know it's i'm selling a candle and i want to make sure uh, that it's gonna be giving the same results since the beginning when they start burning it you know so that's why i'm trying all the options to make sure that i put out a candle that i can say okay this is gonna work because i i guarantee it you know it's not like it, you never tested the candle before so if somebody has an accident has an accident and if the candle blows up say oh my god this what happened here so you have to make sure that it's not because of your fault you no know, it's it's one thing if the person just burned the candle recklessly you know without just leaving it burn for the whole day and um, so yeah you must try and uh, your best to really uh, make like a a power burn you know it's like leaving your candle on for a for 12 hours i see what happens to it you know like I, i'm planning to do that i'm, I'm just gonna do it on, and once the summertime comes or the warmer weather comes uh like I, I will leave a candle or i'm making the test i leave the candle burning in here right here in my studio but i put it inside uh like inside of this so i'll put water inside and i'll put the candle there you know and i'll just put aluminum foil all around it and just leave it burn in there for until it uh extinguishes itself but i know I know that it's safe in water, you know? It's, something happens, it's inside a vessel, away from any, any flammables. So, so for example, this candle. This candle has two, two different, two wicks in there. You see them there? I haven't tested this candle yet. I'm, I'm curing it. And um, this is a uh, black, black currant and jasmine and Caribbean teak wood. Uh, it's not giving me the, the CT that, I'm, that I want, but I'm gonna, I'm curing it anyway to see if it gives me any, any good HD. So I'm not happy with this, but I'm not gonna throw it away. I mean, this is a lot of wax. So I was testing, I was doing a wig test. So I noticed that the two wigs were uh, too big. So what I did is instead of melting the candle and taking off these wigs, so I, what I did is I took a piece of wig and I just insert, inserted one in here and one, one on the other side and I just light it up. 
thinking, okay, so I'm, I'm using a, a smaller wig, but guess what, guys? I didn't think that the heat from the wigs were gonna ignite the other two wigs. So there were four wigs light, light up all at the same time. So I had them at the, on the dining room console, the one is metal glass, and I just happened to go downstairs. My husband was sitting on the couch watching TV, and I see the candle up in flames, going up and black smoke, the whole uh, dining room was full of smoke. And I just ran and I was gonna take a towel and just, eat. and then my husband got up and said, no, 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 no. He took a, a, a like a, a metal ball and he just, he just took a, a metal ball. And guys, I highly recommend this. Don't take a, don't take a towel and just uh, try to put it out. This is what he did and it's, it's the most safe way that you can put out and like, extinguish uh, uh, a fire on a candle, just take the ball in there and just press it like this and be let the, the flame um, extinguish. And that's gonna be the safest way because nothing gets damaged. And you know, it's, so you know, I know I know how it is that people get excited and you don't know what to do and you want to blow it out like that. He said, no, no, no. Try to extinguish the flame by cutting up the air, uh, the airflow. Okay, so yeah, so that's the story of today. So be careful, guys. That's why I always, to me, safety is, is number one, you know? Let's make a, a candle, it's safe for everyone. And just, you know, when you put it out the market, just you're, you're able to sleep in peace at night because you know that you put, you did your best to put the safest candle that you could, you know, and that you have proof, you have documentation that you did your best. So guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you, I did a video about this. So this is, like this is the, uh, the DIY uh, week holders that I made. I'm gonna use them, why not? So the secret guys is don't, don't, and this is the bamboo skewers. So I took two of them and I just put a regular rubber band, the ones I use for the hair. So then just put them, open them up like this, and then just put the wick inside. And once they close, it gives you the tension that you need. And then just roll the rubber bands to the side of the container. And look, perfect. And this costs pennies to make. So um, check my video, the video before this one. That's the one that I did this homemade DIY. Ta-da! I got these trays at the lower store, guys, and they're very handy. So you should check them out, you know? 99 cents, why not? In the meantime, let me just start up the, uh, the Presto Pot. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now it's time to do the fragrance oil. Shot glasses that I got at Ikea, guys. I think shot glasses are the best thing for you to uh, to get when you, once you uh, start making like different candles. Okay, so first I'm gonna make the complex one because we have the four different uh, ounces. Okay, and the candle number one is patchouli. Okay, patchouli. Caribbean teak wood, okay. Vanilla birch. Cool citrus basil. All these four, okay. So let's let's tear this. I have in here, this stick in here. Can you see what I'm pouring? Okay. So we have to be careful because it's only 0.1 that we need for each one of these. Okay, next one is patchouli, two. Next one is Caribbean teak wood, three. Yes, and the next one, vanilla birch. Perfect. And let me use another stick because I don't want to contaminate this one. Let's put this. Okay, so the, fir the first fragrance for this is going to be uh, vanilla wood, but in the meantime, let me just check the temperature from the uh, presto pot. Okay. It's good enough for me. Okay, so the first fragrance in here is going to be uh, Vanilla Woods. And this one's gonna be 1.5. This one's gonna be a uh, tricky guy. Palo Santo and a truly amber. Okay, this one. Okay, so let's see how it goes. Okay, so we have a big dilemma here, guys. Uh, because this is a great uh, example that I'm gonna show you. Okay, because we only have three different uh, scents in here and we need 0.4. So you need to decide from the three cents, 
which one do you want to be uh, the dominant one okay that's a matter of opinion that's a matter of uh preferences what do you want uh oh my god it's just uh, they all smell so good uh which one do you want to be getting the, the extra kick okay now for me palo santo is very strong Patchouli Amber is very strong and Vanilla Woods, it's not. So what I've decided guys, and when you have this kind of predicament, uh, for me, uh, the vanilla is what makes everything sing together. So being that the other two are very st strong, I recommend and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do, I'm going to put an extra unit of uh, an extra point of uh, vanilla woods okay so let me start so vanilla woods is gonna be 0.2 and the other two is gonna be 0.1 each so that's that's how you really guys uh, tweak your formulation okay so this one's gonna be 0.2 the way I view this is like uh, the vanilla is like the base note it's the, the note that holds everything together and that's how I'm doing this. Okay, then point one of Palo Santo. I am literally doing like this drop by drop, guys, because I don't want to go over. Okay, perfect. And the last one is going to be uh, Patchouli Amber. Beautiful. Which again, there are two. The two powerful scents. Okay. My candle line, I'm gonna make some uh, powerful scents. Something that fills the room with love and, you know, seduction, why not? So that's what I'm making. Okay, so let's do this again. So again, uh, the vanilla, vanilla woods, it's going to be 0.2 because I want it to be the dominant. I don't want it to be the dominant. I want it to be the, uh, to calm the other two, the patchouli and the palo santo. Tell you guys this combination, the match made in heaven. Okay, perfect. The formulation is complete. Okay, so I'm, I don't need this sticks anymore. I'm going to put them in the sink. Uh, I'm going to put this outside. I'm going to take you guys with me. Let me just put this outside. Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you how I set up me, uh, my, my workspace in here. With the, as you can see, I don't have that much space. So I'm going to take three pieces of paper towels. Um, because I want to prevent uh, the dripping of the, of the wax to go on the floor. So I put this right here so that will prevent from going to the floor but I'm gonna put another another three pieces and I have in here my scale Let me show you okay and I'm gonna put this also between the scale and the pot because that's what I'm gonna be measuring in here so you see, so I create like a, a safety zone. Let me just go get, let me just go and, and add more wax because I don't think I have enough, okay? So let me show you guys. Because you know that I use wax additives to enhance the HD. Uh, so I need to know, as I add the wax to the uh, melting pot, I need to know how much wax I'm adding because I wanna add Vibar and ster uh, steric acid, okay? So let's see. So I put the baking wrap with aluminum foil on top of it. So now I know now I know guys how much wax I'm putting into the pot. So I know how much uh, vibar to add. Okay, so let me, let me just start with this big piece in here. Actually these two pieces. So that's giving me 1.3 pounds. Let's keep adding. One point nine. Let's see, 2.29. Two pounds, okay? So now, now I know that I need to add Vibar and Cyanuric Acid according to uh, two pounds. 
So this is the vibe bar. So what I do is I add, uh, let me see, let me check the measurements. So for the vibe bar, I add one teaspoon uh, for every pound of wax. So I'm gonna add two of these, two teaspoons. And it comes like in a pellet form like this. Okay. So two pounds, two teaspoons. I'm gonna have it, I'm gonna add four, uh, four teaspoons. Four teaspoons is like uh, two tablespoons. This is a tablespoon per pound. Okay, yes! Now we let that cook. We let that cook. Uh, make sure it gets all incorporated. And guys, I really, I really find for me that I, by adding these two additives on PV600, which is the wax that I use, it makes a huge difference. You know, it's, but again, this, this doesn't work for everyone, you know, it's, I can only tell you my experience, and for me, this, this really works. Hopefully I will not drop the mic. Can you see? Wax melting. I'm telling you guys, this, that's the best buy you could ever do. If you are, if you get yourself into candle uh, making, guys, it's the best investment. Just get yourself one of these pots, you know. And as your business grows, you may need to get something bigger. Soon, guys, but there's so much to. And uh, this launching a candle line is not easy. You know, there's a lot of uh, elements that you have to put into place if you want to do it the right way, you know. And yeah. But, you know, I got my, um, I applied for my trademark name. I have my, uh, my LLC. Let's see. I have a friend of mine, he's doing the, all the writing about the, the fragrances and the candles. I have my, my neighbor, Alex, so he's doing the, uh, the reviewing of the, of the different combinations. And, uh, you know, it's, and I have people also in other states reviewing the candles. And yeah, so it's a lot of work, you know, but if you want to do it right, guys, Take your time and do it right, you know, it's fine sooner. Okay, so I need, for every candle, guys, I'm gonna need 2.4 ounces, okay, so let's go. One point nine, 2.4, .9, okay, I'm doing candle number one, fragrance oil number one. And don't forget to stir for at least 30, uh, 30 seconds per minute, guys. Being that this is such a tiny amount of wax, uh, you don't have to stay with it that long, but at least 30 seconds. I made a mistake, guys. I made a mistake. I put number two on number one. So I need, I need to change the label. I'll do that later. So I'm gonna do the number twos first. I'm gonna do the number twos on number one, and I'll change the label later. We're all human, we make mistakes, and it's okay. Okay guys, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now and clean this up before everything gets solidified, and I'll see you in a bit, okay? Yes! Okay guys, so I'm, I'm cleaning up, and I just wanna talk to you guys. Okay, so you see, we all make mistakes. So I need to uh, take the, the candles, and I need to relabel them. Let me just put this in here, this is where it belongs. So to all of you guys that are new on my channel, I am a hairstylist and I have, this is my salon, my home uh, in Portland, Oregon. And I decided to quit the hair business, you know, and just uh, give it my whole 100% uh, dedication to, my, to the candle business because this makes me, uh, this is making me more happy than making it, than doing hair guys. And also um, during the COVID-19 uh, COVID pandemic, I don't feel safe, you know, Bringing customers in my home, you know, it's different if you work at a business outside, but you know, you have to realize this is my home. You know, and I don't want to put my husband on, you know, at risk of, uh, you know, of okay, getting infected. So that's why, so that's why I did that, you know, and I have no regrets. And like I told you, I need to switch the, the labels because I poured in my mistake on the, into the wrong vessels. So I want to do it now because. I don't want to forget, let me just put the scale back. So this, 
is going to be now number one. And this is going to be number one. And this is going to be number two. And this is going to be number two. Okay, so let me just put this away. Again, I got this at the dollar store, guys. It comes in handy when you're making your candle. 99 cents, why not? Okay, so let's see if I can just take this off. Is it having to make a new one? Okay, perfect. Let me just put it on the side in here. And let me take the one from here. Perfect, and then I'm just gonna switch them. Guys, look how beautiful they look with my uh, DIY uh, wick holders. So yeah, and you know how to make them. Just look at my video before this one and I'll show you the whole step-by-step -step how to do the homemade uh, DIY uh, wooden wicks uh, holder. So here are the other ones. So I made it in two sizes. This is for the biggest, uh, for the bigger containers. And these are the ones that I made for the smaller containers. You know, so yeah. So I have them right over here, very handy. Okay guys, so I just wanna leave the, the video here. I just wanted to, you guys to take you with me on my journey of making my candle line. And for this, I just wanna show you my uh, my testing phase, which is I think the most important part, uh, because when I put out a product that is brand new, that is different from the rest that you see on the market, uh, this is gonna set you apart because this is gonna be your own uh, creation in a way. You know, mixing this, the, the different formulations that you make, uh, the different ratios, it's gonna set you apart. Okay guys, so if you, please uh, give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't done so and share my content with your friends and the family or people that you think that may uh, find my content useful. And also don't forget to check my other channel, How to Live With Me Michael. All the links are below in the description box. And guys, and if you have any questions for me or any uh, ideas or videos that you want me to make for you, leave them also on the comment section below. And until the next video guys, take care of yourself and each other and ta-ta, yay!